Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I've been having a bit of a problem today with my um, with my editing studio, um, the app that I have on my laptop. So I'm gonna just kind of uh, let you know that I was just wanting to react to somewhat to a video that Pierre Paul Yap put out today. Basically, the title of the uh, video was Trudeau says uh, raising your taxes will put out fires. Obviously, referring to the climate change. So um, the climate change issue. So when I was watching uh, the video. Pierre mentioned that 25% of young people have seen food or went to food banks in the last three months because of these carbon taxes, because of like what Trudeau's done to say what he's saying is that, oh, I'm going to raise the taxes and somehow this is going to fix the climate. This is going to put out forest fires if I just put everyone on the street starving. So I also made another video talking about the food banks and how they're on the, the brink of collapse because there's so many more people who need them now. And these food banks can't keep keep up with the demand, so they're in big trouble. And one of the reasons why is because you got twenty five percent of young people who a lot of them are also working, having to go to food banks because they're making two grand a month, and their rent's fifteen hundred bucks, and their bus pass is two hundred and fifty bucks, and then you know they got a cheap cell phone, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I only got a little bit of money left, so they're going to the food banks to get their food. Well, the food banks are now running out of food, of course, because there's too many damn people going. I'm not insulting the people who are going to food banks and trying to get food. I'm insulting the government who has made everything so goddamn expensive that people now have to go to these food banks. And Trudeau, this is why I think he's evil instead of stupid, because he sees what's happening from his policies, and he's doubling, tripling, and quadrupling down without changing any of the, of, of the things that are going on. He won't make a single policy change or admit that he was wrong or admit that, hey, what I've done has hurt a lot of Canadians. Every time it's brought up, it's like, well, you know, it's a global problem, and it's not. It's, just, it's, it's not a global problem. It's a Canadian problem because we have an idiot prime minister who keeps raising taxes. Uh, Pierre also said that, you know, he wants that Trudeau, and Trudeau did not push back on this at all, that he wants to raise uh, taxes on uh, or the carbon tax to for an, another 61 cents making it even more expensive to fill up a car now it, again just another expense it's, it's getting ridiculous and of course Trudeau then came back with more scare tactics like oh we have to we got the, the most the more we're having record-breaking year uh, fires every year we just we can't stop these forest fires and people are scared and the you know, the world's going to burn and all this crap. Meanwhile, he's been prime minister for the last eight years. Why is it getting worse as, as he's been prime minister? Why, not, hasn't get, why hasn't it get, been getting better? He introduced this carbon tax. Why isn't it getting better? Why has he not hit a single emissions target? Is that a global problem too, Justin? Or is it that you're an asshole that, and that's the problem? Maybe that's the problem. Then you also... <clears throat> You also have uh, Justin Trudeau then coming at Pierre Polyev saying, you have no plan, you have no plan. I guarantee you Pierre Polyev has a plan. The reason he's not going into depth right now is because it's not election season. Trudeau, if you want to hear his plan, call a damn election and he'll campaign and let you know exactly what his plan is. There's no point for him to come out with it right now. Why? Because he's not campaigning. His job is not to campaign right now. It's not election season. His job is to be in question period, asking questions. The opposition asks questions, and the the, the, the government that is in power is supposed to answer those questions. And I know that they don't really do that from both sides. Uh, I know Stephen Harper, you know, kind of didn't really... Both sides kind of just don't really answer questions, but they're supposed to. That's what question period is for. Question period isn't, here's what my campaign is. Pierre Polyev will release his plan when it's campaign time. And if you can't accept that, well, it doesn't matter. It's not up to you when other people decide to you know, release their plans on what they're going to do. And Canadians aren't going to be stupid enough to say, well, he doesn't have a plan on climate yet, so I'm just not going to vote for him. I'll vote for communism and starve to death instead. Some Canadians are dumb enough to do that. But luckily for Canada, most aren't, and most see through this bullshit, and that he's not trying to fix or help anything. He's trying to destroy, which was once a great country. But, unluckily for him, we're not going to let him, because we're going to vote his ass out of there. 
End of story. I mean, th there's no way he's going to catch up on 20 points on Pierre Polyev. The last time I checked the polls, which was uh, yesterday, I believe, it was 43 to 23. You're not going to catch 20 points. Well, what are you possibly going to do to do that? Even a, a universal basic income alone isn't going to make up 20%. So now what are they doing? Well, the scare tactics. Oh, this is the Canadian version of Donald Trump, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you don't think that there are differences between Canadian conservatives and American conservatives, generally speaking, you, you don't know anything about politics. I put up a poll on the, on the community post and it, was, it got a few hundred responses. I know that's a low sample size, but I, I, I asked Canadians, who would you choose? Between, if your choices hypothetically were Donald Trump or Pierre Polyev, who would you choose? overwhelmingly, like 95% chose Pierre Polyev. Or there's like 90-95% Pierre Polyev. Because they understand he's much different than Donald Trump. He's way... He's not tone deaf the way Donald Trump is. He does not want to, want to build a wall. He is not doing anything with abortion rights like they did in the States with the whole Roe versus Wade thing. He's not coming after your marijuana. He's not going to leave it up to each province. He's not going to put people in jail. He's not going to overturn some of these more liberal policies because he knows that it's important to Canadians that you don't go to jail for something as stupid as marijuana. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Also, just wanted to let you know and remind you that if you don't mind, I really uh, would appreciate you smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps the channel grow and you know further monetization. I really, really appreciate every single one of you who watch, like, subscribe, and comment. Whether it's a positive or a negative comment, I always enjoy reading them. I enjoy hearing different people's perspectives. Uh, so thanks again so much, guys, for watching. I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care.